Hello, this is Miss Pat from Samuels Public Library. This week in Science Scouts, we're going to talk about the different bird beaks and why they're different, what they use them for. Our story this week is called Snack Time for Confetti by Callie Solomon. Confetti was hungry. Really, really hungry. I'm hungry, said Confetti to Jemima Giraffe. I love to eat luscious, lip-smacking leaves, said the giraffe. Try some. Yum, said the giraffe. Yuck, said Confetti. I'm hungry, said Confetti to Zoe Zebra. I eat sweet green grass, said the zebra. Try some. Yum, said the zebra. Yuck, said Confetti. I'm hungry, said Confetti to Emma Elephant. I eat lots and lots of fabulous fruits and vegetables, said the elephant. Try some. Yum, said the elephant. Yuck, said Confetti. I'm hungry, said Confetti to Christopher Crocodile. So am I, said the crocodile. But maybe not that hungry, she whispered. I'm hungry, said Confetti to Madison Monkey. I eat nice, delicious nuts, said the monkey. Try some. Yum, said the monkey. Yuck, said Confetti. Confetti's mom came home with a wiggly worm, a beautiful beetle, a speedy spider, a creepy crawly caterpillar, and a skinny stick insect. Yum, said Confetti. Yuck, said all the other animals. <laughs> Did you eat those bugs? Yeah. Okay, so how come birds' beaks, though, are a little bit different, right? We're going to look at a couple of birds, like these ones, and we're going to say, why do birds have different shaped beaks? Right? Let's look at these beaks. Whoops, I don't want to do that. Back. Sorry. All right, so why do they have different shaped beaks? Okay, so they have sharp hook ones like this. And this one looks like it's a duck beak, right? It's a little fringed. This one's got a flat wide beak. This one's got a thin slender one. It's a little bit longer than his. This one's kind of a cone shape and look at how fat his is. His is really tall, uh, long and skinny. This one's even skinnier, but a little bit shorter. Right, has a little tooth there at the end. And this is a, just a very strong beak with a point at the end. Why do they need different types of beaks? It's to help them eat. Okay, we just saw that they don't eat what everybody else eats. Right, since birds eat different things, their beaks have adapted or they've changed to help them eat. Okay, so these birds eat seeds. So they got really big beaks that they can crunch open these seeds with. These ones eat um, cactus. So they kind of got a little bit smaller so that they can kind of poke it in between all these stickly things, right? These ones eat leaves and buds on the trees. And these ones actually use tools. Okay, so they, they'll pick up with their beak, they will pick up a stick so that they can get that bug out of the tree or out of the crack or something. Now Darwin, he did a lot of studying on different animals. 
And when he went to the Galapagos Islands, that's in the Pacific, Pacific Ocean, he studied finches. That's a type of bird. And there was finches on each one of the islands in the Galapagos. Problem was, even though they were all finches, the beaks were different. That would be like looking at our cardinals and saying, oh, look at that one. He's got a long skinny one. This one's got a flat one. Our cardinals don't have different beaks. They all have the same because they're all in this area. These birds, one type was on one island, one was on a different island, one was on a third island. Even though they were all finches, their beaks changed because they wanted to stay on their island. And on their island, they had different food. Okay, so they used them for different things. This one used it for, to get insects. This one used it to crack open seeds. This one used it for fruit. This one used tools. This one ate leaves. This one ate grubs, okay, kind of like wormies. So they each have a different type of beak. They're all finch birds. And so look at, let's look at the shape of these beaks and see what they eat. And think about how does the shape help them? So this one is a duck and it's for filtering. It filters out the water. We've ever seen a duck eat? They put their head in the water and their butt up in the air and they scrape along the bottom and then they filter out so that they can get what they want to eat. That stays in their mouth, but the other stuff kind of goes out the sides. This one here has a really long skinny one. That's for probing. He's going to probe inside those cracks and whatnot and those holes that are inside the trees looking for something. This one can catch insects that are out and about. These ones crack open seeds like the cardinals. That's exactly what this one is, it's a cardinal. Now this one with the hook on it, and we saw him on the last one too, he tears the meat. That's why he's got that hook, he's kind of nasty. He's got really big claws too on his uh, feet, his talons, because he grabs feet and he grabs other, grabs bunny rabbits, he grabs snakes. Okay. And then he uses this beak to tear the meat up because he doesn't eat seeds and fruit. He eats other animals. This one is a woodpecker. He uses that really strong beak for drilling holes in the trees so he can get to the bugs. So let's look at these ones. All right, so again, they're different kinds and they tell you what they eat. So this one catches insects. Now he eats grains. He's a coniferous seed. That means he kind of eats like the pine cones, right? He eats the seeds that come from the evergreen trees. And notice his beak kind of crisscrosses, right? So one goes up here and one comes down here because he's gotta be able to, he's, he's found out or over time, they've discovered that the beaks will crack that thing open a little bit better. So this one and this one up here, they got these long skinny things, they're probing. They might probe in the mud looking for something. Okay, the flamingo does filter feeding just like the duck. Okay, the toucan, he does fruit. This little one might kind of look like probing, but he does nectar in those flowers. And that would be like a hummingbird, okay? This one would be a woodpecker chiseling away, dip netting. This is a pelican. If you've ever watched uh, Finding Nemo, right? He scoops up the fish. Now this might be a turkey vulture, They're scavengers. And this one, he's kind of got that little hook at the end. He's the one that's gonna tear the meat apart. Okay, so we are going to try to pick up different foods. We're gonna make believe our hand is a beak. So how are we gonna do that? Well, when you guys come in, you're gonna get a spoon and a spork, okay? Now, you all know what a spoon is, I hope. A fork, you might get those at the restaurant sometimes, sometimes in school, kind of looks like a spoon, except for the tip, kind of has a fork. So why did my spoon turn into a spork? Let's find out. Right, we're gonna have different things for the birds to eat. You're gonna have different things in your bag. Right. 
you'll have different things in your bag. You might even have beans and marshmallows instead of rocks and this. And what I want you to do with your spoon, hopefully you have a piece of tape at home because I can't exactly send that, otherwise it won't stick. And you will need help for this, right? I want you to put the spoon in front of your fingers, okay? And then tape it there, okay? You might need help for this because it's kind of hard to tape it on yourself. And this is going to be my my uh, my beak. Okay, so I have this is my food. I got to try and get my food. Obviously, it's not going to come up this way, right? So I might try this way. But now, if there are three of you in the house and you're all doing it at the same time, you could have a race. Who gets the most? That's the person. That's the bird that lives, right? Because so, if I got to do this one at a time, right, one at a time, I can't get a whole lot. I'm not going to get a lot of food, especially if there's a lot of birds here. And if you've ever thrown breadcrumbs out, you see all the birds come. And if you can only get one piece at a time, it's not going to work so well, right? So let's see if we use different beak. That's all I can do with this one. I, I can only use this, by the way. I'm not doing this. I can't put it up on my hand, okay? I'm not, I'm not going like this and pushing them on. I can't do that. You can only use this. That's all the birds can use, right? So one at a time, that's all I'm getting. Sometimes I can't even get that. So remember, you can't do it. Now, I'm gonna take my spork don't do the same thing. Put it in the front. And I'm going to tape it on. Okay. Now, is it going to be any different? Oh, look at that. I can scoop up too. Because these little prongs up front, they're pretty good. And you know what else the prongs will do? Look at that. I got three. So which one of these beaks? So if you have one and your brother or sister has the other one, who's gonna get all the food? See how the beaks, different beaks help out? Okay. That's why the bird's beaks kind of changed, or at least that's what Darwin came up with. He says they changed because the bird on one liked to eat seeds and that itty bitty little beak, it wasn't working. But he kept practicing and practicing and his beak kind of changed the more he cracked seeds and he ended up with this really big fat beak okay another one wanted to get into these cracks well if you got the really big fat beak it doesn't work so you kind of need the small one so the they changed over time kind of like our spoons kind of changed into sporks okay because some of the restaurants said oh well i don't want to give them a spoon and a fork so we're just gonna give them a, spoon, a spork. You can eat soup with this, or you can eat food with this. It's kind of hard to eat the food with this, right? But I could eat spaghetti with this because this is kind of like a fork. I could still do my spaghetti. I can't really do spaghetti with that. So it's changed. You can kind of do a competition, see which ones you can get the most of, set a timer, things like that, okay? So hope you guys have fun. Um, if I give you guys marshmallows and beans, please don't eat them all until after you're done trying this, okay? And I will see you guys next week. Bye.